Temporary bus stops in the middle of Central have bus riders dodging traffic and picking their way through a construction zone just to get to the sidewalk. And as News 13's Rebecca Atkins reports, it's all because of Albuquerque's rapid transit project. Rebecca's in the Newsplex with that story. Well, Dean, people I spoke to say these stops are dangerous. The city says it's doing what it can to make them safer. This is horrible. I mean, it's unsafe. It's not your typical bus stop. I think they're pretty dangerous. The bright yellow temporary ramps sit inches from traffic, aren't level with the buses, and riders say it's hard to even get to them. I think that people can trip and fall on them. The road's not even graded, so it's unsafe just to walk. But because of ART construction, the city's transit department had to put the stops near Broadway, smack in the middle of Central. It's really scary actually crossing Central, especially because a lot of people go really fast. And I'm afraid people can't see you because of all the construction. Our cameras caught rider after rider in the middle of the street dodging cars. So I just got to run. So we spoke with the transit department about the issues, even showing them video of people running into traffic. I would recommend they don't do that for their own safety. Rick Duraez with ABQ Ride admits it's a problem. There's no real set crosswalk, but there are guides of those orange sort of plastic guides. The transit department says this is the designated path that they created for bus riders to get to the ramp. But riders say by the time they get off at this ramp, that path takes them completely out of the way from where they need to go. After we called ABQ Ride, cones were put out to create a safer path for people to use. We found out it was in a not very easy place to get to. Dureyes says they're monitoring the stops every day and are making changes, hoping riders have patience with this project. And another complaint we got, riders say these temporary stops aren't easy to find online, but Dureyes says they are on the website and are updated each week. Back to you. All right, Rebecca, thank you. The transit department tells us once those buses can fully pull into those stops, the temporary ramps will be taken away.